here we have a 1979 RCA color track. If I can get my act together and hold the camera still, that would probably be appreciated. I have this thing. I don't know what you call this. I pause to look at that. I'm not holding it here. I'm sorry, I paused there because I had some more papers for this set. I don't know what I did with them. Anyway, it has the digital button pad uh, tuning button thing. And we'll go ahead and remove this. Just so I don't damage it while demonstrating this set. And here you can see the contrast, brightness, color, and tint controls along with, I don't know what this does. I think that's that auto color crap that makes the picture look like crap. This ambient light sensor, which I find kind of annoying. It features the RCA block logo and the nipper logo. This is what the back of the set looks like. As you can see here, here's the information. You can pause to view that. This is a model FD475W. It takes how many watts? 60, it says? No, that's Hertz. I don't know. I'm not sure how many watts it uses. It doesn't say. Over here we have our UHF, VHF, and a coax connector, which I believe you can twist this and put it in here if you want to use an antenna. I'm not exactly sure. I think that's what that is. Here we have our drive controls, setup switch that doesn't seem to do anything, vertical height, sharpness, vertical hold, and horizontal hold, focus, and the screen controls. I've gone ahead and removed the back of the set so we can see exactly what's going on inside of here. This is uses a Delta Gun CRT as you can see. This is just ginormous. And this uses a modular chassis. It's quite dusty. Let's see if we can get over here so we can see a flyback. Flyback and what is that? A tripler. It's a dirty one. Everything's dusty. I don't believe this set's ever been serviced. <sighs> I don't really want to mess anything up by trying to clean it and the dust doesn't really have any issues. I'm not sure uh, what chassis number this would be. Does have a no? That's not a circuit breaker. I'll show you what the inside. Okay, that's a chassis CTC ninety one. Pause to view. I would just like to note. I love the attention to detail in this stuff. You can see the plug actually has the RCA logo on it. On the plug. When you turn it on, it defaults to channel two. Why is it so dim? It's never this dim. This, uh, see this thing is problematic.
can't really say the first official full day of fall, but fall technically started at 9.30 this morning. So our morning low of 44 actually occurred at the end of summer 2020 at the afternoon high of 72 in the Triangle area occurring, well, the first afternoon of fall 2020. No rainfall recorded at RDU on Tuesday. And again, the first official high of fall 2020 in the Sand Hills was 73. And the last official low was 49 for the summer season of 2020 in the Sand Hills. And also no precipitation reported at Fayetteville on Tuesday. So high pressure in control. Again, we're mainly clear as we go through the night. Not quite as chilly tonight as it was last night. Overnight lows dropping back to around 50 degrees by early Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, good sunshine. Daytime highs, mid-upper 70s across the area. Increasing clouds on Thursday. Shower chances, though, don't go up until we get into Thursday night and Friday. It's more of this moisture from what was beta makes its way up into North Carolina.